Okay guys, this is day two of CES. Let's get to it. Delfast was the first company we hit who makes a mix between a motorcycle and a bike. So we have actually just upgraded as well. We used to have the chain, but now we've got the carbon belts. Yeah. It's a lot more uh, better for maintenance as well. Uh, you got a push button start here. You do, yes. Yeah. It's so easy. Stop starts. Perfect. You've got to, uh, so it just has three modes. Um, so because in America and lots of other countries, uh, it is illegal to go top speed on this bike, it's miles per hour, uh, uh -huh. and it does limit you to 20. So okay. you don't need a license for that. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it below <laughs> 20 for sure. Uh, yes. <laughs> go off road and then you can go crazy. It's a class 2 e bike, pedal assist, and throttle, but yeah, with the motorcycle style body. Yeah, yeah. So, it's a little bit like a dirt bike, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that what you guys are trying to go for? Just basically like yeah, taking like dirt style. bikes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the GPS you can track uh, how fast you're going. Oh, that's GPS. Well. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you can also lock the bike with that. We won't do it here, it's incredibly loud. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Um, you can also we have uh, a new app as well that's just come out. Uh huh. And you can so let's say you're an hour away from a bike and you think you can lock it. Yeah. I forgot to lock my bike, you can lock it from your phone. Oh, really? As well. Yeah, yeah. That's and it cool. is uh, quite a heavy bike. So, uh, no How much does it weigh? It's 154 pounds. Oh, that's like so it's, uh, lightweight for me, you know what I'm is saying? It? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> the battery itself is around 40, so. 40 pounds, yeah, yeah, the battery, yeah, it's it's battery. A, and that's going to be here. located in here. Yeah, now, yeah. can you replace the battery? Um, so, you can't personally do it, so if something goes wrong with the battery, you'll have to come and speak to us about it, and we'll be the one to And they do have, a, so they are having a warehouse in California in two months, is that when you guys are opening Hopefully. it up? Hopefully in two months. If plans go awesome. all right. And you can actually, you said you can go there and test these out. Yes. Okay. Yes. What is this model running? Like how, how much does this cost? Ah, okay, so it's sixty six hundred. Okay, that's yeah, that's 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 kind of what I was thinking. You got a, like a standard bike seat too. Like that's just it's adjustable you know, as well. adjustable. Right on. You can fit like a whole family of five Literally, on this thing, yeah. you know. <laughs> Hop on, guys. We're going to Walmart. <laughs> we do have Walmart. Yeah. We, we do have boxes that can go on either side as well. So you have yeah, boxes here. Eight. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. If I'm just pedaling, how fast can I go ah, okay. on the high speed? Fifty as well. Sorry, oh, I understand. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it is incredible. But it is either or though, so you either straight throttle or you pedal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can't choose both at the same time. Okay. Oh, so the only difference between these two is it's just the seat. Mm -hmm. So all yeah. the stats, power, everything yeah. else is yeah. the same. Okay. What's the recharge time on these? So uh, if you want to go seventy percent, that's only two hours. Oh, if you want wow. a full charge, we're going to fast going uh, five hours. Five hours. So it's actually pretty fast for such a big bike. Yeah, that's way fast. Two hours for seventy percent. That's mm -hmm. awesome. You got a big old monster headlight on that thing too. I'm gonna spotlight you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Lamond is next, who made the lightest e-bike I'd ever seen. They weigh in at about 27 10 pounds, depending on the carbon wheels and upgrades that you put on it. You can be down in the 26 pound range. What? So a full electric bike for 20, like It is a pedal assist pounds. bike, yeah. It doesn't have a throttle like some yeah. of your other bike e-bikes, but if you're pedaling it, it helps you. So, Holy crap. Yeah. That's electric. Get out. That's insane. Holy cow. Batteries in this down tube right here. Runs from here to here. Batteries are from here to here? Yeah. Motor is right here in the rear hub. How big's the motor? Uh, it's a 250 watt motor. It'll get you to 20 miles an hour in all three modes. It just depends on how much torque you want. Does this have a torque sensor in the uh, in the cranks, or is it just kind of? It's all cadence based. It's all cadence yeah. based. Okay. Well, it's just one button for everything. So you change the modes. You does it have lights? You got the lights on it as well. Yeah. You turn the lights on and off with this button as well. Just click once and then hold it. Uh, it has three pedal assist levels. You click through them. You hit it once and hit it again. It has mediums, orange, red is the highest. Yeah. Okay. I just gotta get over how light that thing is. <laughs> okay, so obviously for all these things, what's the price of this thing? It's gonna be pretty pretty spinny, I would assume. Yeah, so for the Dutch, it starts at $48.95. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, the Pro Log here, that's forty seven. We stopped by Turn, who specializes in cargo bikes. This first model can stand alone as a cart or attached to a bike. Now the car is the biggest I'd seen in the show with enough room for me to almost lay down. And on the outside there's velcro straps where you can place a company logo. 
All of the models they displayed had some type of cargo carrying ability. Next up is a newer company called Ufree. We're based out of Houston, Texas. Uh, this bike is the most comfortable in the urban community that you're going to you're gonna try here. Okay. Um, it's full class three. It goes up to 28 miles an hour, but uh, the front suspension is 100 millimeters of travel. Quite that's, a bit. That's good for a commuter bike. Yeah, and then you, all of them come standard with a seat suspension. That's um, cool. So it has 50 millimeters of travel there, uh, about a 60 mile range. Um, you can carry up to 100 pounds on the rear rack is welded in. Um, and then, 100 pounds on this thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and it's really comfortable. Like, you can uh, kind of tailor your seating height as to how you want it. It's kind of got the curved ergonomic like stance instead of the straight or the doesn't yeah. curve too far. Actually, delivery driver is one of our uh, like 10 to 15% of our customer base. Or five pedals this month. Okay, I'll throttle on the left side here, huh? Yeah, so it's a thumb throttle. It is lighter weight. Here, you can pick it up. It's a nice uh, metal, too. 55 pounds. <laughs> nice chime. That's like legit. By far the best bell I've ever seen on a bike. Vast had a design that I thought was very cool. Yeah. This is for the person that wants to get rid of their car and they want to start commuting. All right. Okay. So this is a class three. And what you can't see here is that this is actually a full suspension. It doesn't really? look like one, but yeah. it is. So down inside here, there's a four bar linkage and air shock. So what we're doing is we're suspending the motor, which is here. The battery, which is here. Most people would think it's here, but it's actually in there. Oh, nice. So that's suspended, the battery, the motor, the rider weight, and any rear cargo weight. So about 75%, 80% of the weight is suspended independent then of the wheel so the wheels will stay on the ground yeah give you more traction safer better control and be able to allow you to ride on crummy urban roads you're commuting the class three so it goes fast yeah so the bike is designed to go fast bad roads potentially bad weather potentially carry your cargo to work you can carry there's actually a tooley rack for a child carrier you can take your child to school dirty steel racks supernova uh, integrated light systems, so very easy saddle adjustment. Yeah, that's a, I like that adjustment. That's so, that's way easy. Yeah. So pretty unique bike in many ways. Tell me something about this. I've never seen this design before. This is so, pretty cool. Like, there's this system here is the tensioner. So as you're moving through the suspension itself, it keeps the proper tension on the belt. Okay. Oh, I see. Yep. What's the travel it, on this? That's 100 millimeters. 100 millimeters. 90 millimeters on the rear. 90 millimeters. You can't see it, it's all internal. The linkage and the shock is in there. But it is an air shock, add air to the valve right here. Okay. If you want to design your own bike, check out these guys. Basically, we 3D print things in continuous carbon fiber. Oh, this is 3D printed? Yeah, all of this is 3D printed. It's got a massive battery. It's got over a 300 watt hour battery, which is more than any of those batteries up there. Okay. Um, What's the weight on this then? Total. total it's a uh, 30 ish pounds. Oh, well, still, that's, I mean, that's for a full size bike. That's uh, uh, pretty good. E bike. Uh, e bike, yes. Yeah, yeah, so it's got a big battery in here and a, giant, <laughs> and a motor right there. Put in your biometrics. So you're what? 5, 5 11, 185 pounds of pure muscle, too. Yeah, so we'll make sure you put that oh, on. You got it, man. <laughs> but in seam, you're what? 32? 31? Yeah. 32? Yeah. You're good. Our algorithms will compute the frame shape and size for you. Yeah. And then you can put in like different things, like you know what kind of wheels you want, whether whether you want an e-bike or a regular bike. Uh, obviously, color. Like you want. You're done. You hit. You hit order. Print. And then you can actually watch it being printed. The sanding, the painting, assembly, all the way until delivery to your house. That's cool. Yeah, man. So. Um, so if you guys are messing up, I can watch to make sure nothing. It's like, well, what are you doing with that? <laughs> That's yep. the wrong color. I meant to do I said or... lime green, not uh, <laughs> moss green. Right? Uh, yeah, we do have two greens. So. Last stop was Giant Bikes, where they gave me a tour of a couple of their models. We've been doing mass production. We've been bringing them to market since 99 in Europe. So we've, we've got over 20 years of experience with e-bikes. So we start with raw aluminum. Oh, wow. All right, we, we create the alloys, we form the tubes, that sort of stuff. The composite bikes, we start with raw fiber. Very, very up on the material. We know the material. We like to think we know the material better than anyone else. 
and its capabilities, so we're able to do things that a lot of people can't with their batteries. The main battery's actually here. Oh, really? What's, what's this? This is a storage box, oh, okay. number one, and if you look inside here, you can see there's a bracket and a mounting point for a second 500 watt hour battery, so this is going to carry up to a kilowatt of energy. And you can still have some storage space. What's great about it is it rides like a bike. It's not like driving a semi. Yeah. You know, some cargo cargo bikes are they're like driving a big truck. Yeah. You, know, you lean one way and it kind of takes you. It, with it wants it, right? yeah, it wants yeah. to pull you with it. Whereas this, it rides like a bike. Wide range of accessories. So this is essentially how it would ship. Um, but then you can do a whole bunch of things. Whether it's putting foot footrests on it, you grab your passenger seat pad, put it here. And you can take your, your partner, your wife, your friend, whatever, go to, go to the pub. Their second model was a high-end mountain bike with suspension you can set and adjust through their app. All right, oh, like normal setup, crazy. you set up like a normal mountain bike. Yeah, sag, yeah. Set your sag, set your rebound. And you're done with it. And you're done with it. Yeah. It's, there's an app, of course. There's an app for everything for oh, it. Yes, yes. There's even an app for the bike. Um, but the app, you can go in and there's five different kind of base platform settings from box that you can use and even adjust compression sensitivity within that. Or they've got a database on through the app, you can go to their website and download, you know, if I have a setting I like and we ride together and you're like, oh, hey, you're really liking it set up like that? I'll try your settings and just download it and it'll be done. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. And that's and that's called the live live valve. valve. Yep. Live valve Fox suspension. <laughs> yeah. Well, they've been doing live valve in um, side by sides and like the Ford Raptor. It's so cool. That's, that's, that's next level. It's man. so that's cool. And for desert riding, where you're riding on rock, like oh, yeah. mini baby heads and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. That's where it really shines. That's where I found that it really, really stood out. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and send that bike to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're back in the hotel. End of day two. What, what, do you, what do you want from me? Huh? <laughs>